What's up YouTube artists and aspiring artists? Mike here with Aerosol Custom Spray Paint Art. Today we're doing a little New York City skyline piece. We're using some dollar store canvas. I'm using Montana Gold Spray Paint, a little bit of Rust-Oleum Clear Coat, and a little bit of Rust-Oleum Quick Color. That's that really cheap transparent spray paint you can pick up at Home Depot on the bottom shelf. Uh, in addition, what you're not really going to see in today's painting is the multi-layer stencils created for uh, the city skyline. It's a very highly requested uh, tutorial to show you guys how I actually make these in Photoshop, print them out and cut them out. I have dedicated that I will get to this tutorial. So let me know in the comments section down below uh, what we should do for our multi-layer stencil tutorial. I don't really want to do necessarily a portrait. Um, I don't want to get into copyright issues or anything like that was showing you guys how to do you know, someone else's image. Uh, but if you have some thoughts on what we could do or a specific image we could use, maybe even pop on over to the subreddit. Let me know over there what you're thinking and we'll get started on this video. I will let you know we are gonna need Photoshop when we get to that stencil tutorial. Without further ado, let's find out how I created this New York City skyline painting with spray paint. The New York City skyline for today's spray paint piece is made using a multi-layer stencil. Here's a glimpse of the different layers. That's just the cutout from my main black layer. All the nice little details here in my white layer and onto the gray layer. I'm using acetate film and my heat tool to create this and I will get to a full multi-layer stencil tutorial here soon in the future. I'm using a uh, can of pink Montana gold coming in with some purple just basically doing the same steps I would do if I'm making a planet. So layering my colors kind of lighter to darker and going in and getting a nice base of some different colors to play off each other. Use some blue, some kind of turquoise green here. And I do wind up coming in with some lighter blue and a little bit of white uh, just to act as a neutral. This is gonna really let those colors play together as we peel the paint off. Uh, so once we do this, we're gonna go in and grab a plastic bag Go ahead, toss it down. Uh, this is paint was way too dry for me, so I went in with some Rust-Oleum clear coat, moistened up the paint a little bit, and went to town. Uh, off in the corner there, you see a little bit of, I think, onion skin. So make sure you don't have any grocery shrapnel left in your plastic bag. Uh, from here, I'm just working out the pattern I'd like to see for my kind of background sky nebula. Adding in some quick color black just to make it look a little bit more natural. I do want my city to be backlit a little bit, so I'm gonna do some misty white and some nice little stars by flicking Montana Gold onto the canvas. Now for these stencils, I do use a bit of spray adhesive. Uh, that's gonna make sure the stencil edges stay firmly down onto my canvas and uh, there's not much overspray. So with this, I do a very light coat of this uh, Elmer's spray adhesive. And from here, I take the stencil and I actually just kind of put it down onto a surface, press it all down and keep peeling it off until that paint or the glue is barely, barely sticky anymore. Once I've let my canvas dry for about 20 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down. You'll see in this example, uh, the entire stencil is covering the canvas. So I'm not gonna have to worry about any overspray. I'm just taping off that little edge line so I'm not getting any weird blemishes on the side of my painting. And I'm just gonna come in, push the edges down to my stencil and spray in one direction, a very, very light coat of black spray paint. I'll push down near the edges if I need to. And you'll notice uh, your instinct's gonna be to put a full coat of black. You really don't need much. So uh, the more paint you use, the longer you're gonna wait between layers for drying time. So take your time with this step. There's a glimpse at our gray layer, so I'm doing the same thing. I'm gonna put my spray adhesive down. I'm just kind of pulling the glue off by putting it on a piece of drywall off to the side and peeling it off over and over again. I let this layer dry for about 20 minutes again. Now we're gonna stare at the back of my head together while I line this up. I left this part in because it does take a long time uh, to get that perfect matchup with the multi-layer stencil. I don't really use reference points like some people do. I just make sure that the gray layer is completely inside of the black layer. And I'm gonna go ahead and press down all the edges. This stencil was a little smaller, so I wanna avoid overspray. I'm gonna put some poster board down to make sure no gray goes where I don't want it. And from here, we're gonna come in again with a very, very light coat of gray spray paint. 
Uh, this is a bit difficult because a poster board would stay flat. The canvas was actually concaving in and giving me some grief. Uh, nice light coat of gray, peel that stencil off in one direction, and you're starting to see some of this detail shine through on our cityscape here. Uh, again, let this layer dry 10, 15, 20 minutes. Uh, touch it to make sure it's good to go. And we're coming in with our last layer of white. I played around with the idea of maybe doing some yellow. A lot of this layer is going to be kind of windows and things of that nature. Uh, some of it does shine through in the end, but I do wind up going over most of it with white in the end. So here, nice, really light mist of white, leaving a bit of that yellow and peeling this off to reveal a detailed city skyline. If you guys don't know how to make these stencils, I will get to that tutorial very, very soon. If you have an idea for what you'd like to see, please let me know down in the comments. So with this, I'm just creating a waterline with a straight edge here, uh, misting out the edge line of our city. Now I'm coming in with some kind of mimicking colors from our sky. So some pink, some purple, a little bit of black, and a little bit more white here. From here, I'm gonna get, take a little piece of poster board or a little scrap piece of cardboard, add some clear coat to the painting, and I'm just gonna etch in a few little water lines. Keeping this painting today really, really simple. No planets, no frills. Just going for a nice, simple uh, New York City skyline look for today's painting. Misting out that edge at the bottom, giving that kind of shadow line and sense of depth to our water. And as always, folks, if you like what you've painted and you're going to hold on to this painting or sell it, make sure you sign it. I'm using a little kind of tiny screwdriver, if you will, just etching in, revealing some of the pink underneath and making sure that the world knows I created this one. Uh, so sign your paintings. Make sure to put your stamp on your work. This was a fun little piece. It was a little bit tedious cutting out the stencil. Uh, I know this is not a full blown spray paint art tutorial like typical, but I still wanted to walk you guys through my process a little bit instead of simply just showing you a time lapse video. Hopefully you picked up a thing or two. As mentioned, if you guys want to see a multi-layer stencil tutorial for spray paint, leave a comment down below and let me know what the subject matter should be. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. If you want to own this piece of spray paint art, head on over to Etsy. It'll be available for purchase. And until next time, I'll see you guys in a future spray paint art tutorial.